the title of the piece is uh, The Animals Are Planning an Intervention. And at first the title just came up because it was a bit of an a inside joke between my husband and I. And I wanted to name a piece that. Um, and I knew animals had something to do with this piece, but it's revealed itself in the last, uh, the last few weeks of rehearsal that um, the title has something to do with the residue of animals that we carry inside us through evolution as individuals and also as a species. And so the piece is exploring one particular creature that comes up against and collaborates with, perhaps, um, some of the little animals that are still living inside it at a cellular level. I love making solos, um, but they're not really solos anymore because I always have uh, collaborators. I have Sarah Sleen on this on this level. She came into rehearsals in the summer and saw a little bit of what was going on. Um, which made her, she said it made her rethink a couple of, of things she was doing, but uh, for the most part she kept true to her vision and her direction from that starting point. And it's coming together in a really interesting way. She's written a four part, a four movement string quartet, and I, my piece is vaguely in five sections. So it's not a clear cut movement one, section one, movement two, section two, which is a really great little puzzle to put together is how does the music fit with, with the, the sections that I've created. It's, it's, it's wonderful. I think the relationship between the music and the dance is also not going to be uh, what we're trying for anyway, is not to have me dance to the music which is a challenge for me because I love music and I like to dance to music. <laughs> um, but to actually envision the music as a, another character so that there it, it, it's a solo um, in terms of bodies on stage, but it's a duet in terms of, of presences or characters that inhabit the space. just decided we were going to take a quote from A.A. A. Milne as our starting point uh, from the house at Pooh Corner. <laughs> the quote was, it is because you are a very small animal that you will be useful on the journey. And I believe Rabbit said it to Piglet in, in the house on Pooh Corner. So. To share a program with him is is a great challenge to me in in all the, the right ways. It's uh, as I said to Mimi, I said, well, I could be petrified by this, or I can pull up my socks and make sure that I make it a good show for for both of us. And and that's the attitude I'm taking because he, he to me he's a legend in Canadian dance. Um, there's something about Mark, when, he, when I first took a class with him, he said he was talking about going to the edges of your movement. And he said, you have to continually push the edges, but you always have to go, you can only go so far as you know how to get yourself back. But there's always a little further to go because you're stronger than you think you are. And he was saying that from, from a fairly straightforward physical perspective. But I had just come from working with Theodore Rustical where Alison McMacken had been saying uh, in terms of, of character and, and emotion about and intention about going hard, going deep, but only going as far as you know how to go back, but continually to pushing yourself to see if that was, if you could go to a deeper place. Um, and that, I mean, that just happened at a really amazing point in my life where I think I was deciding to do solo work as a dancer and really committing to the work I was doing with Theodore Rustical. So to have Mark say the exact same thing about the other side of things, for me, I just went, if I can put those two worlds together, the physical edges and the emotional um, and in intention-based edges together, then I think I would be doing exactly what I want to be doing as a dancer. So Mark is a very special person to share a program with for that reason, for yeah. me, in a very personal way. Yo. Yeah.